Hi guys, Lockfog here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Legend review. Today I am going to be reviewing the 86 rated English legend Teddy Sheringham. Uh, I got Sheringham for 140k and in the 6 games that he played for me, he got me 12 goals and 2 assists. He has a 3 star, uh, three star weak foot, 3 star skill moves with a high low work rate and some of the clubs that he played for included the likes of Manchester United, Millwall, West Ham and I think he also played for Spurs. Um, as well, so let's now get into his in-game stats. Okay, so into Sheringham's in-game stats, the three main stats which stood out to me were his 88 shot power, his 87 finishing, and his 86 positioning. His specialists were the clinical finisher, and his traits were the power header and team player. You can also pause the video if you wish to check out those stats in more detail. But getting into his uh, highlights that I got with Teddy Sheringham. There were quite a lot of positives to this card actually. The first being his shooting and finishing. I'm going to put that into one positive because it's kind of the same. Um, Sheringham was fantastic. In particular in the box he was just amazing. Very much a poacher for me. I think all his goals came from inside the box actually. Uh, he could both score and I have a foot. He could head to the ball. There's a couple of clips where he scored um, one or two headers. Another thing which I also found to be good along with his shooting and finishing was his positioning. Inside the box he was always in the right place to be able to tap the ball into the net. So uh, definitely his positioning was another uh, positive to his card. Um, another thing which I was really surprised about was his strength. Now I believe he's only got 72 physical on his card however in game he felt fantastic with his strength. He didn't feel fantastic actually his strength was just good, it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. And often, because he doesn't have very good pace on his card, he could sometimes use his strength to bully past the uh, defence. Uh, however, that kind of leads me on though to my one con with him, which was his pace. Now, it wasn't a massive issue because I did get 12 goals in 6 games, however, sometimes it was an issue for me because I'd be through one goal and then the defence would just catch up to me and be able to take the ball off me. Sometimes he was able to defend them off some time. Well, the majority of the times he wasn't able to, but there were maybe four or five occasions where he was able to kind of um, use his physical to kind of stay ahead of them and then uh, create chances for my team. But uh, getting in towards the summary part for uh, Teddy Sheringham, definitely his shooting strength and finishing being his main pros. You could also include his positioning, I suppose, as another one of his pros to his card um, but his one con being his pace however I do believe that can be quite easily fixed with a chemistry style on like the Hunter for example if you put a Hunter on Teddy Sheringham he's going to climb up to at least 80 pace I would have thought so uh, I don't think that's much of an issue really because I did manage to get 12 goals in 6 games for him as, along with 2 assists as well uh, I would always recommend though playing him as a striker I wouldn't play him as a centre forward or I can definitely keep Teddy Sheringham as a striker to get the best out of him. But anyway, that's going to conclude this legend review uh, for you guys. I also gave him a 9.5 out of 10. Very enjoyable and definitely would recommend. So, um, so yeah, that's going to conclude this legend review though, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.